Welcome back friends to the shop. I have got a ton of requests from you guys asking if I would explain what is that spinning thing on your wood stove. What it is, it is a Stirling engine and it is amazing. Let's take a close look at it and I'll try to explain to you how it works. All right, friends, I'm going to do my best to explain <laughs> in layman's terms so I can try to understand it myself how this engine works. Now, if I remember correctly, this was invented around in 1816 or 1860, a long time ago, and it really, it's still spinning because the, it's, the heat sink on the bottom is hot. Uh, it consists of, of two pieces uh, that we need to really concern, and there's, there's two pieces pistons or so to speak. So we have inside of this this riser right here um, which is stainless steel heavy sink. Oh mama kitty you can't be in the video. Maybe next time. There is a for lack of a better term there's a piston inside of that. Now it's not called a piston it's called a displacer. But just imagine like a small hockey puck looking thing uh, that I believe is stainless steel as well that uh, is able to go up and down on this shaft right here. Now it's not a tight bore like you would have on an engine with piston rings because the air that's heated from the base on the wood stove needs to go around it uh, and to the top chamber. So we can imagine, if you can imagine in here with this down, and I'm explaining it to myself right here as well, that it's in the down position and then as this shaft moves up, it's in the up position. And that's just floating in there. The second component that we need to look at is the, these are the, the power piston right here. Now this is a dual power piston. You'll see these Stirling engines with singles, but this one's kind of cool because it's got a double. And probably just gives it a little bit more power. Now how this works is in the down position, imagine that hockey puck down there. This, is, this base is being heated by the wood stove. Right? There's a temp temperature differentiation and we know as, ga as air is heated it expands. As the air expands it starts to s go float, float up past, pu I guess pushing this piston up and then as that pushes, <laughs> pushes up now we've got a temperature variation and the, the, the pressure is being lowered, you know, like, it, it, like um, <laughs> man, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm in deep over my head here, man. Professional homeowners are not, uh, they're not used to explaining physics. Uh, <laughs> I thought I understood it until I get to this point right here. But uh, anyway, so there, these pistons right here are connected with a, with a little hole that go in there. Uh, and it's basically that hot air is going up and into these causing this to go to move up and as it changes the pressure now is in the top of the cylinder which is filling these pistons and now that is expanding that heat and pressing it down as the temperature cools uh, sucking the hockey puck <laughs> back down and you see we've got these heat exchangers here these fins just like you would have on an air cold engine because we the, the, that difference between heat from the top to the bottom is important the cool up here to the heat you know, it's always exchanging as it's exchanging back and forth it's pressing and causing this thing to function so if you're not more confused than when we started then I will be super surprised <laughs> you can go watch someone who knows uh, anyway let's come in here close and just look at the beautiful build of this uh, gorgeous Orp 5 Sterling. I may not know what makes it go, but I do know a beautifully built piece of equipment <laughs> when I see it. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, as I said, this is made in the UK, handmade uh, by Warp 5, hand assembled, and just absolutely gorgeous. This is a an heirloom item, something that's going to last a, a lifetime if you take care of it. And it's so, it, I, I've had so much fun and it just enjoy having it. I mean, the first thing anyone that comes into the shop that sees it, uh, they, they walk over and, and ask about and comment it. It's, I just find myself stopping and just staring at it because it's so fascinating uh, just to watch it, watch it go. 
Now this uh, is activated, it'll start turning at about 120 degrees. So if you have a soapstone stove like I have here, uh, it works great. I notice that the hotter it gets, the faster it turns. My stove doesn't get particularly hot, but I think it maxes out somewhere around 400, between four and 500 degrees is, is what they recommend. Stainless steel on the base, it's a heavy, really nice built thing with the stainless uh, the, the diffuser or, or displacer, I guess, inside. You've got these uh, aluminum heat sinks on here. And just, I hope you can see it and appreciate it here from the, from the pictures or from the video, just the quality and the attention to detail. It's like we've got some sort of a high temperature nylon on the crankshaft here. There's a brass counterbalance right there that they've put on there. Uh, every, I mean, you don't have to do anything. You just... I put it on my stove and I, once the stove got warm, I reached over and, and hit the, the blade and, and off it went and it's been running ever since. You've got these uh, clear plastic like cylinders right there and this material looks like a graphite, but when you just look inside at the bearings, you've got brass connecting rod or wrist pins. Um, it's, it's just absolutely beautifully made and something you would... It, I, it's hard to it's hard to explain it until you you've seen it uh, in person and and just I, and I really really enjoy it. It's very quiet too. It's I was concerned that it might uh, make noise and I would have wouldn't be able to use it in here when I'm you know wanting good audio and shooting video. But it's so quiet that you can't even really hear it. I mean this the buzz of the lights is actually noisier than this is. It almost runs silent and it moves. I think it said almost 500 cubic feet of air. So actually, you know, these things are not just for aesthetics, they're, they're functional as well in that the fact if you can move or circulate air away from your wood stove, it means you have to, you can shut your wood stove down earlier. It, it, it's going to produce, you know, it's going to distribute, mix your heat in your house better. You know, I don't know to, to a great extent, but every little bit helps. But isn't that a beautiful thing? I'm going to make sure I don't touch it. It's still hot, that base. Very heavy. It feels like the whole base is solid. But isn't that pretty? The blade on it looks kind of like a blade you'd have on a uh, on an old car. You know, it's an old old fan blade. But man, oh man, that is really really nice, isn't that? <laughs> so it did come with a little globe here, and they recommended uh, to use this uh, just to keep it clean. It's got some rubber feet on there, and that sits on there, and that doesn't take away from it at all. I've I've just left this on here. Um, and that's going to keep the soot and the dust, you know, because wood stoves are pretty dirty and it's going to be less wear and tear on all of the bearing surfaces and such. But you could, you could run it without that too if you just wanted to. Uh, the only maintenance that I could see on it fr from their website was um, every once in a while just to put a little drip of oil and not too much right there on that, on that one shaft right there, that, that, that plunger shaft that goes down and hooks to that displacer piston. Um, and that's it. Just keep it clean. And I think keeping the cover on it would go a long ways in doing that. But that's it. So I wanted to share that with you. I've, I've really enjoyed it. I'll put a link to uh, the Warp 5 Sterling engine. They have several different options there. Over there, our friends in the UK build these. And it's really a special, a special thing. This would be a really wonderful Christmas gift for someone who, ooh, that's hot, <laughs> who likes to, likes to sit by his wood stove and a wonderful conversation piece. Just a very gorgeous little, a little engine. Fascinating technology. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you all on the next video.